What is in this big book of his, do you think? Transmutation. <sighs> Another Darwin blotting God out of creation. We want to support your scheme for a museum of natural history. Some people see it as rash, extravagant, grandiose. If it's grand, it's because it should house as wide a display as possible. But we need your help in return. It is up to you, as the country's leading anatomist and paleontologist, to prove man's superiority. We won't have street ruffians tout man's monkey origin in Her Majesty's museums. You can rely on me, Bishop Wilberforce. The human brain differs markedly from that of all other mammals. In man, not only do the cerebral hemispheres overlap the olfactory lobes and the cerebellum, but they extend in advance of the one and farther back than the other. Their posterior development is so marked that I have assigned to that part the character of a third lobe, peculiar to Homo sapiens. The hippocampus minor. <laughs> Peculiar mental faculties are associated with this highest form of brain, and I am led, therefore, to regard man not merely as representative of a distinct subclass, <laughs> but as the inhabitant of one reserved for him alone. The human brain is in itself proof of man's moral and religious faculties. Such are the powers with which we, and we alone, are gifted. I wonder what a chimpanzee would have to say about that, Mr. Huxley. Well, I think it's <laughs> priceless. His theory is a house built on sand, a Corinthian portico on cow dung. Yes. Damn all the sanctimonious meddlers who try and stifle troublesome research. The ultimate court of appeal of science is observation and experiment, not authority, wealth and rank. Your disagreements with Owen should not be personal. I can't help it. He's so pompous. <laughs> the prospect of his slipping on one of his pickled brains is just too good to be true. Bad feeling will only cloud the issue and lead to bad science. Tell that to Owen. Huxley's saying in public what you think in private. Charles, you've stalled long enough. You've collected enough barnacles to sink a ship of the line. Meanwhile, you're being upstaged. That's not important. My book is the thing. Once my work is done... Will it deal with man? <laughs> it's too surrounded by prejudices. Well, whether it does or it doesn't, you must publish. 